Yes. So I am saying that today can we complete that chapter, sir? English one. Which one? We were doing. Sir, English that chapter, sir. Uh, the visitor. The visitor. Yes, 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 yes. 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 Sir. yes. Fine. Well, uh, uh, complete that. The visitor. Uh, the visitor by. Uh, Marcus Frank Juice. Sir, the ma yes, sir. Okay. Marcus Frank Juice. PDF. Fine. We'll go for that. Where is the PDF? PDF, 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 PDF. Uh, Oh, um, so it is from the book tip. Yes, sir. Anyone can send me the topic? Hey, Susan, send. Juju? Which one was that? Juju sack. Okay, I, I think I do have. I do have. I do have the topic. Um, Juju sack. I think we are going to discuss the visitor, no? Sir, I think you have given a test on that. No, and it is about hope. The hope, the hope. By the way, I think uh, Srujan has not done that, no? No, sir. No, sir. Aha, uh -huh. bichara. Otherwise, uh, Srujan would be the first one. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Okay, fine. I'll uh, go with that, uh, the visitor. Uh, so that was uh, taught half. Uh, yeah, Bidesh is uh, there. Or he went somewhere for uh, one. Sir, of course, sir, I'm here. Sir, is Bidesh here? Today, we have a class. Sir, I'm going to ask you a question. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Which one? Yeah. What happened? What did you do? No, what did you do? Okay. Okay. Beside me, my partner is sitting. Looking at my face, he started laughing. And man started scolding me. And he said, you do everything on your own. What do I do? If someone sees me, if someone sees me, what do I do? Okay, okay. Let's go for the. Uh, can you see my screen? Is my screen visible to you all? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, so the visitor, which is written by Marcus Frank Jusak, uh, is an Australian writer. He is best known for the book uh, "The Thief" and uh, the book "Thief" and the Messenger, uh, and two novels for young adults, which became international bestseller. So he won the Margaret A. Edwards Award in 2014 for his contributions to young adult literature, pub, uh, young adult literature published in the United States. Now, the story begins with this. Uh, this story is set in where? Now, that's something called as a Germany during World War, 1939 to 1945. So, and you know about uh, during that period of time, so there was a, uh, means a despotism or called as an autocratic uh, nature. A person is called as Adolf Hitler, who was considering as the leader of Germany, and also he was the leader of the Nazi party. 
right so uh, jo- uh, german uh, generally if you talk about nazi nazi is the one of the party which is created by uh, german leader adolf hitler right who believed that germans were superior to everyone and born to rule over the world if i give you the example the example is called as a loslong and jesse owens right so loslong was the german uh, uh, olympi uh, olympi uh, you can say that olympic uh, player whereas Le- uh, Le- jesse owens was the uh, player of south africa right and uh, you would find out that this loslong belongs to the master race master race means there's something called as a aryan race right so germans were superior to everybody and born to rule over the world hitler had a special uh, you know hatred hatred means a hate a hating nature for whom jewish people and that's the reason he killed oh. ma- he, yeah jewish people he killed many of the jewish people and put most people into the concentration camp right he considered that jewish people uh, are not the human and he also did not consider them that they had a right to freedom of life freedom of life right it means because of that the soldiers of the uh, adolf hitler uh, raped killed and uh, humiliated tortured physically verbally and that kind of a evil is uh, never been found in the history so uh, what the nazi people did actually means adolf hitler's ruling time so he arrested all jewish people in germany and put them in the gaul jail in uh, imprisoned them in can, uh, concentration camp now what do you mean by concentration camp now it is a one of the place where uh, people were you know uh, uh, forcefully put and it is something called as a death center torture. yeah death center it's not even torture so torture means what you will uh, uh, give a kind of a physical torture and then after some day they will come out but here it is a concentration camp where you will find out they put the jewish people and they also sprayed the poisonous gas now after a one or two hours or one or two days what happened automatically people get killed jewish people so when they were often tortured and killed so you will find out here legal who is legal there is a 12 year old german girl so she and her parents hans and roja huberman right so who are the uh, <clears throat> parents hans and roja huberman so what happened to them uh, they do not agree with the hitler's cruel policy not only them many people in the world do not agree with hitler's cruel policy and that was the reason behind for which uh, you find out the attack occurred uh, in german on germany they are hiding so they are hiding means who are hiding now that's called as a uh, german Sir, girl. jewish people yeah legal hans and roja so they are hiding a jewish man called max bandenberg in their basement and are determined to keep him safe right so whom did they keep actually a jewish man max badenberg the jewish people yeah this max is badenberg uh, this is very dangerous because if they are discovered then what will happen na means obviously this is they will be killed yeah this is exactly like the kind of a story of anne mary frank right so where you will find out 13 or 14 years girl, girl name anne anne frank right so and here you will find out who lisa all of them will be arrested and put to death right so obviously if they discovered in this except except means called as a part part of the complete story the uh, uh, book tip right lizel is playing with her friends when she hears some terrifying news what was the news she heard she heard the news like a new ball had been found for himal street football uh, that was the good news right the somewhat unsettling news unsettling means called as a, something which will make you feel nervous or worried yeah yeah was that a division or a division of the nsdap was heading towards them right 
So very simple thought. The story begin with whom? The story begin with the legal and the family member. And the story stated about they kept a, one of the Jewish people in the, Jewish man in their home. And uh, as it was the Nazi headed country, Nazi headed country, Adolf Hitler's country. So that's why it was a kind of a fear that if they were discovered to keep the German uh, Jewish people in their home. So definitely means uh, they, they are going to suffer. Now, on the basis of that, it uh, the story continues and stated that uh, one of the unsettling news or worried news was that a division of NSDAP, right? That's called as a National Social Socialist German Workers Party or the Nazi Party. National Socialist German Workers Party or the Nazi Party. So the leader of the party was none other than you will find out Adolf Hitler. They 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 had progressed all the way through the town street by street. Right now you find out that when NSDAP was heading towards them, right. So and they were moving one after another street. So house by house, and now they stood at Frau Frau dealer. Frau is a French word. Right. Uh, sorry, a German term. The meaning of Frau is called as a missus. Yeah. Missus. Uh, so here you will find out Frau is the word for missus in German. Uh, say Fro. Right. Uh, dealer shop. Taking a quick break before they continue with their business. Right. So they were taking a break. So stop for a moment. From afar. From afar means very far. The children watched. The children watched whom? Now those of the NST is DAP. Legal, legal, Soviet peoples. Yes, Lizel had only just come out, and she had walked over a Rudy and Tommy. She she had walked over Rudy and Tommy. So there are two other children. What is going on up there? Rudy put his hands in his pocket, so and stated the party. They are checking all the houses and apartment blocks. Now Rudy pointed that instant dryness seized the interior of Lizel's mouth. Why? Now because of the nervousness. Because the, they know or she knows uh, uh, what was the wrong thing she uh, her family had done. So Liesel's mouth turned dry due to the nervousness or worried or called as a tense. Immediately on hearing something that made her feel scared and also afraid or panicked. For what? So she asked. Like why they were searching all the houses and apartment blocks. So immediately it was said, don't you know anything? Tell her, Tommy. Right. So, who said? Rudy said, Tommy, uh, said to Tommy to tell, means whom? Tell Liesel that why they were searching. So, Tommy was perplexed. The meaning of perplexed is called as a confused. Right. So, um, charge name. So, Tommy was confused. Well, I don't know. So, you are hopeless. The pair of you. They need more air raid shelters. Tommy was confused because he was no, even not clear, right? That why they were searching all the houses and apartment blocks. And that's why he said that, well, he didn't know. And then Rudy said, you are hopeless. The pair of you means Tommy and Liesl. They need more air raid shelter. Air raid shelter means that called as underground structures or basement that are designed to protect people. Right. From air raids, drop, uh, dropping of bombs by aircrafts onto targets on the ground. Now, that is why they were searching all such kind of a thing. Now, next stage. Am I clear so far? Yes, yes sir. Okay. Now, coming to the second part of it. The second part said, okay. Yeah. Oh, oh. Why it is her? Yes. Wait, basements. Now, uh, said, wait, basements. No, attics. Now, whether you are talking about basements or attics. So, attics is called as a, the top floor of the, means uh, any building uh, which is kept for the purpose of what? Uh, keeping uh, all those garbages and all those irrelevant items. Right. So, immediately, no, attics. Of course, basements. Right. They are checking the basements to see if they are good enough to be shelter. Shelter means uh, to stay somebody. Right. So, or to... A place leave. to stay. Yeah. 
Listen, you really are, someone there. Yeah, you really are stupid, aren't you? The children got back to their game. The children got back to their game, but Liesel was still standing. Why? Because she knew that what was the wrong means in her home or at her home was done. So that is why Liesel was uh, still standing. How could she get back inside without looking? Uh, without looking too, uh, how could she get back inside without looking too suspicious? Right, because she had to act like that. The small crowd of men up at the prow dealers was uh, starting to starting to uh, disperse. Disperse means called as a uh, spread everywhere. Right, so. Pan Some move from there and go everywhere. Yeah, there's something called as a spread everywhere. So panic generated. Panic is called as a fear. Fear that uh, gradually grew up in that powerful way. Right. So in a terrible way. Throat and mouth. Throat and mouth. Air became sand. Air became sand. Think. She thought. Come on, Liesel. Think. Right. Rudy scored. Far away voices congratulated him. Rudy. So, scored, right? So you you would find out that what I mean, so when all these things were going on, so you would find out that how these soldiers were creating the environment. They were creating uh, I mean, so something called as a dusty, right? At the same time, Lijel was just, uh, standing in a particular place and thinking. So she thought, "Come on, Lijel, think, right?" Rudy scored. Far away voices congratulated him. Think, Liesel, she had it. Think, Liesel, she had it. That's it. She decided, but I have to make it real. Right. So, as the Nazis progressed down the street, so gradually Nazis went inside the street. The ball, the ball was passed through the air to one of the bigger kids. So, as they were playing, the ball was passing uh, through the air to one of the bigger kids, so whose name is called as a Klaus Beherik. Right. The boy, boy, the boy turned with the ball. The boy turned with the ball just as Liesel arrived. And they, what happened? There was a collide, collision. Collision or collided, crash into each other. You would find out with such force that the game stopped automatically. So something occurred in, the, in between the game for which what happened? Automatically the game was stopped. As the ball rolled up, players ran in, right? As the ball rolled up, players ran in. Liesel held her grazed. Liesel held her grazed knee with one hand and her head with the other. Klaus Behrig only held his right shin, uh, grimacing. So uh, it's something called as you know, uh, finding a kind of a seriousness and also cursing. Klaus Behrig only held his right shin, right. And uh, uh, thinking deeply and looking serious and also cursing. Cursing means called as a scolding or called as a saying something which is a seen or a bad. So where is she? He spat. I'm going to kill her. Where is she? He spat. So spat is indicating that he hit. I'm going to kill her. So there would be no killing. It was worse. Right. A kindly party member. So kindly pay, party member means it was referring to those of the people who were going down. So a kindly party member had seen the incident and jogged dutifully down to the group. Jogged means what? That is called as a marching. Dutifully down to the group. What happened here? He asked. So, uh, well, what happened here? He asked. Well, she is a maniac. Maniac means that something called as a, someone who behaved in a manly manner or stupid or insane. So, well, she is maniac. Class pointed at Liesel. Right. So, who, class means we were uh, referring to the class Barry who pointed at Liesel, prompting the man to help her up. Right. So, I don't think you are in any state to keep playing, my girl. I don't think you are in any state to keep playing, my girl. He stated. Where do you live? So immediately means uh, that the, you know, NSDAP people so said that you are not in a state to play, my girl. So where do you live? I'm fine. She answered. Really? I can make it myself. Just get off. Get off me. Right? Get off me. Means leave me. So that was when Rudy stepped in 
Rudy stepped in, means Rudy enter. Uh, I'll help you home, he said. Right. So why could not he just mind his own business for a change? Right. So you, you would find out that uh, Leslie is a kind of a girl who was, uh, the first thing is called as a very nervous because of NSTAP. Second thing is he, she was acting in a such a manner so that these people will not, I mean, uh, uh, not uh, uh, doubt upon her. Right. So he said, why could not he just mind his own business for a change? So Liesl said, really? Right. Just keep playing, Rudy. I can make it. Right. So, no, no, no. He would not be shifted. Right. So, the stubbornness of him, it, it will only take a minute or two. Right. So, he would not be shifted. The stubbornness of him, it will only take a minute or two. So, what do you think that do? Who pointed this? Who, who can point out that? Who have told this? So, I can't understand this. Yeah, please do ask. See. So I can't see the line. Yeah. I'm, uh, can, can you see the line here? Can't you so see the line? I'll help you home. This, this one. It is stated, I don't think you are in any state to keep playing, my girl. He so that is the Nazi army better. Uh, pointed. Uh, stated. Uh, so where do you live? So they asked the girl, where did she live? Right. So she answered to the Naji people that she was fine. Really. She could make it herself. Just get up me. So she wanted to, means, uh, uh, free from whom? Free from those of the Naji people. So at the same time, Rudy stepped in. So Rudy, who was also present there, so uh, he stepped in, uh, stepped into the conversation, and she pointed that what now she would help her home, right? He said, "Why could not he just mind his own business for a change, right?" So uh, he said, "Why could not he just mind his own business for a change?" Means now he referring to whom? He referring to Chantu whom? means that boy. What is the name of that boy? Rudy? No. Hello? Yeah. Hello. Yeah, yeah. Hello. Can you can you hear me? So it is stated. Yeah, audible? yeah, yeah you are audible. Yeah. yeah. So it is stated that was when Rudy stepped in and she pointed, he pointed he would help her home. So he said. Why could not, he said that. So at the same time, why could not he just mind his own business for a change? Right. Really? Liesl said, just keep playing, Rudy. I can make it. Um, it means, now here Liesl said that she could make herself stand up. No, no, no. He would not be shifted. Right. So the stubbornness of him, it will only take a minute or two. It will only take a minute or two means what? There's something called as you would find out NSDAP as, uh, was also stating that. No, that's something called as the stubbornness. What do you mean by stubbornness? That's something called as a refuse to accept somebody's help. Refuse to accept somebody's help. So no, no, he would not be shifted. Full stop. Then after the stubbornness of him, it will only take a minute or two. So one or two minutes will be taken and after that what happened, everything will be fine. Right? That is what the message means, which was uh, uh, means heading towards whom? Heading towards this NSTAP, Rudy and also means you find out Liesl. Now, after that, if you talk about this, next, which is pointed here, so such kind of a picture. Now, is this the next one though? Is this? Okay. Again, again, she had to think and again, she was able, right? Again, she had to think. She had to think means who had to think? Liesl had to think. And again, she was able. With Rudy holding her up, with Rudy holding her up, she made herself drop once more to the ground. 
on her back. My papa, she said. The sky, she noticed, was utterly blue, not even the suggestion of a cloud. Could you get him, Rudy? Right? So, you would find out that here, the tension in the mind of uh, Liesel was nothing but means uh, NSDAP people will not visit to her, her house. Right? So, that is why the keeping that thought in her mind, right? So she was not able to, you know, stand up properly, right? She even um, fell down once more to the ground. On her back, my papa, she said, right? The sky she noticed was utterly blue. Not even the suggestion of a cloud. Means it seemed like the weather was fine. So could you get him, Rudy, right? Could you get him, means uh, now... Liesel was telling to his uh, her friend Rudy that could you get my papa, right? So that is what uh, she pointed. So stay there. Liesel kept an eye on the party man. Liesel kept an eye means observing all those party men. A minute later, Hans Huberman. Who is Hans Huberman? The Liesel father. Sorry? The father. The father. Yeah. So, father, father. <laughs> hence, Haberman was standing, uh, was standing calmly above her. Hey, Papa. A disappointed smile mingled with his lips. Right. Disappointed smile means not feeling happy. So, mingled means uh, simultaneously or called as a mingled is called as a two with his lips. It indicates that one side seeming like uh, uh, his face is uh, smiling, but the other side he was also means wondering something. I was wondering when this would happen, right? A disappointed smile mingled with his lips. I was wondering when this would happen. He picked her up and held her home. The game went on and the Naji was already at the door of a lodging a few doors up. So, no one answered. So, once inside their house, Nigel gave him the information. Now, please do understand that what has been done here. So, means these party, Naji party, so they were already at the door of a lodging and a few doors up and no one has answered also. Once inside their house, Liesel gave him the information. She attempted to find the middle ground between silence and despair. So Liesel was scared. She felt as if she, uh, she would cry if she opened her mouth. So she uh, need to calm down and speak to her father. Right. So Papa, the party, she whispered. She whispered to whom? Liesel whispered to Papa. Papa, the party. Papa stopped. Uh, he fought up the urge to open the door, right? Uh, and looked up the street. They are checking basements to make shelters, right? So he set her down. He set her down and said, he said, smart girl, and then called for Roja. They had a minute to come up with a plan, a shimojal of thoughts. So what do you mean by shimojal of thoughts? That's something called as a uh, confused. Confused uh, thoughts. Yeah, confused and bewilderment uh, thoughts caused by disturbing news they received. That's something uh, you can say that uh, shimojal, right? Shimojal, uh, shimojal of thoughts. So that's something called as a confusing and called as a terrified thoughts coming to their mind. We will just put Max in legal suit. Yes. We will just put Max in legal room. Was Mama's suggestion. So Mama means referring to the Roja. Is it referring to Roja? Hello. Yes, sir. Was sir. Mama? Yeah. Was Mama's suggestion? Hello. Uh, yeah. Hello. Yes, sir. Sir, Roja. Okay. Sir, is Roja. Yeah, that's what I'm asking. Whether you are listening or not. That's it. What if they decide to search our room? That's it. What if they decide to search our rooms as well? So, do you have a better plan? 
correction. They did not have a minute. A knock was hammered into the door of 33 Himal Street and it was too late to move anyone anywhere. Right? Open up. So their heartbeats fought each other. A mess of rhythm. So uh, you would find out that it's a kind of a rhythm that generally occur when you find out difficulties or problems or in front of you. On this day, it was Papa who rose to the occasion. Right. So what do you find out? Papa put his panic aside and dealt with the situation calm, calmly. On this day, it was Papa who rose to the occasion, who dealt with the kind of a problem. He quickly went to the basement door and threw a warning down the steps. Right. So when he returned, he spoke fast and fluent. Look, there is no time for... So who? That's something called as a papa. Uh, so, four, 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 yes. Yep. So, it's nothing but a kind of a trick. We could distract him. We could distract him a hundred different ways. But, the only, solu only one solution. He eyed the door and summed up. Nobody. That was not the answer Roja wanted. Her eyes widened. Her eyes widened. Nothing. Are you crazy? The knocking resumed. Papa was straight. Nothing. Now what does eyes widened mean? See, when you are saying that eyes widened, it means called as a surprise or something called as a, in a, uh, means, uh, uh, in a kind of a terrible way of looking to someone to make him or her realize or called as a afraid, or called as a making a like a kind of a means to stay shut up, or to means make silence on the basis of that. Sometimes you do wrong thing, your papa looks at you and with a wide eye, wide eyes. So what does it mean? It means or papa or mama looks at you in a wide eyes. What does it mean? It means they are. It's a death stare. Uh, yeah, Nothing. Are you crazy? Yes, girl. The knocking resumed. Papa was street. Nothing. We don't even go down there. Not a care in the world. Everything slowed. Everything slowed. Roja accepted. So Roja accepted it. Cleansed with the distress. That's something called as a, uh, Roja was in a kind of a man's of nervousness. Right, kind of a panic, kind of a fear, kind of a anxiety. She shook her head and continued to just, answer. Just, just like a small child. Yeah. So proceeded to answer the door. Papa warned, Nigel, just stay calm, understand. Just stay calm, understand. So uh, she tried to concentrate on her bleeding leg. Yes, Papa. Aha. At the door. Roja was still asking the meaning of this interruption when the kindly party man noticed Legion. So the maniacal footstep players, he uh, the maniacal, that's something called as a mate, right? Mad, insane football player. So they consider Legion is what? Now, uh, a kind of a football player who was mad, he grinned. Who grinned? The man, right? Who uh, helped the uh, girl. So he grinned. How's the knee? So he asked. You don't usually imagine the Nazis being too charpe. Right. So what do you mean by charpe? Nazis being too charpe. It's something called as a abracadabra or something called as a merriment or called as a, a happiness or cheerful and lively. So he said, you don't usually imagine the Nazis being too charpe. But this man, means uh, uh, the author was saying that Nazi people was not like that. So they were very serious and uh, evil. But this time you would find out when the Nazi person was asking, how's the knee? So he was in the mood of happiness. But this man certainly was. Means that's what Liesel was uh, thinking. He came and made us, made us eat too, right? So like a friendly uh, friendly manner. So he came and sit on the crowd, uh, 
sorry made as if to seem like what very friendly and was going to help so uh, to crouch and view the injury of the girl called legel does he know right legel thought legel thought that does he know can he smell we are hiding a jew so legel was thinking from her mind papa came from the sink with a wet cloth and soaked it onto legel's knee knee does it stink painful his silver eyes were caring and calm huge na legel's father right the scare in them could easily be mistaken as concern for the injury roja called across the kitchen means roja mother so it can't stink enough right maybe it will teach her a lesson the party man stood and laughed i don't think this girl is learning any lessons out there miss uh, pro pro huberman mr huberman or mrs huberman i think she teaches lesson to all those boys am i right young girl so this uh, nsdap party was telling <laughs> right papa shoved the cloth into the injury shoved means that something called a press press the cloth into the injury and legel winced rather than answer legel winced means paused uh, stopped rather than answered it was hans who spoke a quiet sorry to the group there was the discomfort of silence then and the party man remembered his purpose if you don't mind he explained need to inspect your basement just for a minute or two to see it is a suitable for a shelter papa gave legel's knee a final dab final dab means final press you will have a nice bruise there to legel casually he accepted the man above them certainly or surely first door on the right so means they said papa gave legel knee a final dab and you will have a nice bruise there to legel so casually or means it's like a, you know not taking any stress means carelessly he said uh, he accepted the man above them and certainly first door on the right so they said uh, please excuse the mess right uh, so after that next is five so yep okay i would not worry it can't be worse than some of the others i have seen today this one that's it right so it it is something called as a, when father said that means excuse us or excuse the mess mess means called as a dirty or maybe garbage would be there so please excuse us so uh, the man said i would not worry it can't be worse than some of the others people whose basement or called as a attic uh, is somehow called as a worse i have seen today this one right that's it the longest 3 minutes in Hubbard man history, right? Hubbard man say history, right? Longest three minutes in Hubbard man history means called as the time they spent. Papa sat at the table. Roja prayed in the corner, mouthing the words. Legel was cooked. Her knee, uh, cooked means what? Uh, that called as you know very worse condition physically and mentally. She was disturbed actually. Uh, Roja. her knee her chest the muscles in her arms i doubt any of them had the audacity audacity means uh, that something called as a courage to consider what they have the what they would do if the basement was appointed as a shelter that to survive the inspection first right it means roja was thinking that they need to escape from that inspection so that was doing by whom these nstap people they listened to naji footsteps in the basement there was the sound of measuring tap right so uh, uh lizel could not ward off the thought of ward off right so uh, ward off means uh, the something called as a protecting the thought of max sitting beneath the staircase to the basement max sitting beneath the staircase to the basement so huddled around his sketchbook right so uh, there's something called as a, uh, he was also scared right H uh, hugging it to his chest so the sketch book which he hugged also it to his chest papa stood 
another idea he walked to the hall and called out everything good down there everything good down there the answer ascended the steps the answer ascended ascended means what uh, that came out from the uh, outside uh, on top of max vandenberg another minute perhaps max vandenberg another minute perhaps would you like some coffee some tea no thank you when papa returned he ordered lizel to fetch a book and for roja to start uh, cooking he decided the last thing they should do was sit around looking worried well come on he said loudly move it lizel i don't care if your knee hurts you have to finish that book like you said means it's something called as they were trying to show a kind of a situation that nothing had happened and nothing was present at uh, no one was present at their home so lizel tried not to break yes papa so it was very interesting to understand that means how they managed the situation of that 3 minutes are you all there or you left Uh, yeah, it's a very interesting one. So the last one. Uh, so what are you waiting for? It took great effort. What are you waiting for? It took great effort to wink at her. Wink means called as a look at her. She could tell, right? So in the corridor, she nearly collided with the party man, right? Ledger. In trouble with your papa, huh? In trouble with your papa, huh? never mind i am the same same with my own children they walked their separate ways and when lizel made it to her room she closed the door and fell to her knees despite added pain she listened first to the judgment that the basement was too shallow 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 you understand that something called as a deep and also a very dark in place then the goodbyes one of which was a scent Uh, down the corridor goodbye manical football player right so the man right of the nsdp said goodbye manical football player manical means called as a mad football player she remembered herself right off where the shan or called as a, means uh, the word which is said ah uh, off where the shan is something called as a, to say goodbye according to papa roja melted so next to the stove because uh, she was who uh, who was getting pain and also tension physically mentally right uh, standing next to the stove the moment party band was gone they collected lizel and made there was the basement removing the well placed seats uh, and paint paint cans were hiding max vandenberg Max sat beneath the steps, so he was completely in a sweating and holding his. I can't find out what you have, how you have taken the photo. So and holding his rug seizures like a knife. I would not have used them. He quietly said, "I am." He held the rusty arms flat against his forehead. He held his rusty arm. Rusty means called as a, the kind of object which was completely junk. flat against his forehead i'm sorry i put you through that so who said max uh, said to whom means uh, uh, max vandenberg said to lizel's father or uh, and parents roja took the seizures you are alive she said we all are roja took the seizures and said you are alive she said we all are it means you alive means we all are alive right so the story was very simple and also easy to understood that how uh means well yeah how these people right saved themselves from the kind of a incident that occurred right it was something called as a risk they took right uh, the kind of a risk they took and that uh that risk that actually means you could take the family member as well as uh the family member as well as you can say that uh, uh, the man right who was hiding him uh, in that base right could have uh, could have uh, died right 
in the hand of those of the people right so uh, anyhow means uh, if you look into it it's a uh, easy to understand story not uh, that difficult words so any doubt please do ask Hola. okay sir so... okay, no doubt any any understood completely uh yes uh, asu you have any doubt no sir clear completely yes sir okay shall i start asking question yes sir but it's a lady but it's already um, somehow called as uh, a 10 8. But I'll just ask a couple of questions. And you please try to give the questions answer. Uh, not in a, you know, briefly, but in a very uh, small manner. Right. Uh, short, not lengthy. Huh? What was legal planning and why? May I? Yeah, go ahead. So just a second. Sir, so Liesl was planning the movie to sir, unsuspiciously go home and warn about the Nazis going to the basement. She was planning all of this because the, she, her family had hidden a Jewish person and if the Nazi to find out they had hidden a Jewish person, all of them, including the family, would have been executed. How can we deliver one of the fuels of the future? Hydrogen. Okay. Play a pivotal role in. Hello, my dear students. I welcome you all to my YouTube channel, Imamad Study Circle. Views upload kiye gaye. Questions from her parents about the species from her. What is that? Okay. Question is my question. Why did she have to make it real? So she had to make it real because if uh, she went away just normally, as soon as uh, the Nazi people dispersed, it would have become already suspicious that there was something going on in her house and the Nazi people would have uh, gone firstly to her house. Or you can say that she had to make it real because if the NSGP members grew the sl slightest bit of suspicious from... Uh, from her actions, they would turn their house inside out and finally discover the Jew. Legion realized that her best shot was maintaining all semblances of normalcy and somehow getting the information to her father. Okay. Uh, my question to next yes. is called as uh, Papa was the street. Nothing. We don't even go down there. Not a care in the world. What was Papa planned to stop the Najib from finding Max? What was Papa's Can you repeat? What was Papa's plan to prevent the Naji from finding Max? So he told Max to sit in the corner near the stairs. So he could not be spotted. Uh, okay. Uh, let me point out uh, what was Papa's plan to stop the Naji from finding Max. It's called as at first Mama had considered moving Max from the basement to Liesl's room. But then there was no time for that because NSTP were already at their door. Papa told them only what? Given the situation should be to do nothing and receive the party members as naturally and cordially as they could. Right. Otherwise... They would have means uh, uh, they would have caught. Okay. My next question is, uh, why do you think he wanted to pretend as though they did not have a care in the world? Why do you think he wanted to pretend 
as though they did not have a care in the world. Sir. Hello. Sir, can you repeat again? Excuse me, sir. Hello. Tell me. Sir, actually now I have to leave. Yeah, you need to take food. Okay, this will be my last question. Why do you think he wanted to pretend as though they did not have a care in the world? You can write, Papa wanted them to pretend like they did not have a care in the world. So that the NSDP members who had come to inspect the basement in their house would not suspect that the Hoovermans had anything to hide. Right. That will be the answer. So this is the last question. Okay. So I'll make a question set for this and I'll give it to you uh, by tomorrow or in the next class you're supposed to attend the question answer. Okay. Bidesh. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so that's all for the day. We'll meet in the next class. Till then, bye-bye. Bye, sir. Bye. Good night, sir. Good night, good night. Thank you. Bye, sir. Good night, sir. Good night.